Hi everyone, Raf here and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to polish your shapes and turn out these jagged areas right here into more smoothed curves. And the tool that will help us to smoothen things out is the smooth tool. So you can access here by going in the pencil tab right here. And as you can see, I have a custom shortcut for it, which is the letter S. Or you can just select it here. So now for this to actually work, you have to select your cloud first. And then I'm just going to press my keyboard shortcut S again to access the smooth tool. And then we can just zoom in a bit. We're going to brush along the line right here. And as you can see, the smooth tool interpolates the anchor points and tries to smoothen out the curve. So if we will apply it on the other part of the shape, as you can see, it's actually smoothing it out. So we're going to try it again here. It takes a little bit of time but it also helps if you don't want to redraw your artwork again. We're going to smooth in this area some more. And as you can see, we have a better shape right now because we've actually used the smooth tool to remove the jagged areas right here. And it was a sort of a quick fix for when you don't want to redraw your shape again or if you're struggling a bit with creating very smooth curves using the pen tool. Also, if you don't want to use this tool again, you first have to master how to use the pen tool. So if you're going to recreate the shape right here, you're going to have to predetermine where you will plot your anchor points. Okay, so I'm just going to show you right now. So first, plot your anchor point. And then instead of making too many points like this, you can actually just plot it at the middle part right here. And then you can press Alt to adjust the Bezier handle right here so that it doesn't overshoot too much. And then I'm just going to plot this area right here. And as you can see, we've only used three anchor points and now we have a perfect curve. So now I'm just going to press Alt again to bend this Bezier handle. Like so. And I can just plot the next anchor point right here to the middle part and my next anchor would be here so we can actually try that also don't try to bend too much and if you have actually bent it too much you can just press alt again and then shorten the handle right here so now for the next anchor point I'm just gonna plot here at the middle part and as you can see if I pull too hard the curve doesn't actually smoothen out so be sure to predetermine where you would put the anchor point or your next anchor point. So I'm just going to continue this right here. And as you can see, if I press shift, the handle is actually constrained. So I can just move it a little bit like this. And I can press shift again because it is just a straight line. And then I'm just going to point the next anchor point which is the middle part of the circle right here because as you can see it's just a semicircle and if we try to create an ellipse you can see that it only has four anchor points right here so if we try to bend this handle right here it will also affect the shape so much like the shape right here you can actually achieve this by having only one two and three anchor points so let's just delete this first and I'm just gonna use the pencil again and to continue creating my shape I'll just have to hover on this area right here and if you see this slash icon right here that means you're actually gonna continue the shape that you've created so just press right here and then we're just gonna plot the next anchor point also you can press space so that you can move the anchor point as you're creating it so this spot right here is actually okay and then I'm just gonna release the spaced bar and then I'm just gonna close it right here and as you can see, we only have a very little amount of anchor points. 
So yeah, just keep that in mind that in order for you to create more smooth curves, you have to predetermine first where you would plot your next anchor point. And again, if you've actually created a more complex shapes with more curves, the smooth tool right here will be able to provide a quick fix. So that's it for this lecture and I hope that you will implement this in your new workflows. So thanks for watching and I hope you're enjoying the course.